Food delivery apps are popping up nearly everywhere. Which ones do you use, Fedora? I use Uber Eats, so that's what I'm all about. I use Kip the Dishes. The appeal is clear. It is quick, it's convenient. But Marketplace has discovered that not all apps are equal when it comes to the treatment of injured couriers. I crashed into the door and that broke my left hand. I went right into them. These couriers work for competing food delivery apps. We've agreed not to identify them because they say they're afraid they'll lose their jobs for talking to us. In Ontario, any couriers who deliver on foot or on a bicycle must be covered by workers' compensation, which companies pay into. But while this Fedora courier was covered when he was injured on the job, this Uber Eats one was not. I was really stressed. I didn't have enough money to pay my food, to have to save money for everything. Even I have to ask for money from my dad. Marketplace has learned Uber Eats has no coverage for its couriers on the road. That's because the company is classified as a telephone answering service like a call center. However, Fedora is classified as courier operations, so its couriers are covered. Skip the dishes status is pending. I think it's really messed up because the nature of the job, regardless of who you work for, is the same. What happened to me could happen to anyone who does any food delivery job. Across the country where it delivers, Uber Eats tells us it does not pay into workers' compensation for its couriers, saying in the provinces where Uber Eats is available, independent contractors may choose to register themselves for optional coverage with their province's workers' compensation authority. Skip the Dishes pays for coverage in some provinces and not others, saying they're following provincial regulations. Fedora tells us where it delivers in the country, it pays for compensation coverage for couriers. We feel that it's important that the worker has protection in the event that they're injured on the job. And in speaking to the regulating bodies, it seemed like it was something that we were able to do and, and actually supposed to be doing. We asked the board that manages workers' compensation for an interview to explain why the difference in classification. They decline, but say our questions are leading them to review Uber Eats and the industry as a whole. Magda Gebrselassie, CBC News, Toronto.